All right, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Depth of Extinction here on my channel, Idle Wisdom. I guess this is like supposed to be like a Republic base. I don't know. Kind of an interesting looking place. Under the sea. Under the water. Let us pick up where we left off with our quest to obtain the Code Scrambler. If you recall last time, we you I think we hired a mercenary and we saved rescued some other civilian recruited them got some more gear like that gas mask i pontificated about gas masks all right so operation amber firebrand it's supposed to be a difficult mission so we'll see what this does Let's take a um, er, 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 investigate the facility. This is like a let's take a look. It's an open area map, meaning the enemies are gonna be able to just keep coming and coming and coming without you know breaks. We won't get the breaks of them, the respite, if you like, due to them you know being separated in different rooms. So that's gonna be dangerous. So I think it's going to behoove us to go to the right or the left and fight from there. So let's actually go to the left. We'll go right here and we'll see what we can do. I think there's a lot of en dangerous enemies in this mission. Let's see, who are you? Yes. You just were her. Raven. No, this is Question Austin. Okay, that's our mercenary. You get right there. Okay, you come right here. On your you on your guard. Right there. As you wish. All right, that's good. I think. Anyways. Don't see anybody yet. There's some loot, but, you know, whatever. That's probably not what we're looking for. <laughs> we got to be really careful. The enemies will be quite strong, I hear. Or at least some of them will be. No, 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 no. That's not what I wanted you to do. Right here. Huh. Still no enemies. That's weird. Little. Uh oh. No, wait. I don't know. A little too quiet. Okay, this is quite bizarre. Hmm. Let's actually go down this way. We'll, you know, start by clearing out the lower part of this facility and then work our way clockwise. Man, dude, for real. Oh, there's a gun turret right here. So we need to make sure we have an eye out for those. Are there any over here in this sub area? I don't see any. Huh, well, you know, that's always nice. There's still a lot of space here, so there could be more enemies. Nope, there's one, there's one. We found our first enemy. We could take him out with one shot. Let's do the boosting just so we make sure we hit him. There we go. First shot successful. You come down here. Oh, there's another one. And now, let's just fire on him. Ugh. Well, the guns are out. Maybe the guns will attack the... Now they know that we're here. I'd say that's correct. <laughs> you just go right here. And go into Overwatch. And go into Overwatch. Uh-oh, here comes another one. Hmm. Keep coming. Raven is in danger of being. How would I say? Uh, flanked. Can't really do anything about that right now, though. <laughs> Let's take a shot at that turret. Because we don't need it shooting at us.
Hmm. Actually, let's leave it. Hopefully, they'll distract the enemies. You just get up here and go into Overwatch. See, Cutter. Sometimes the enemies, human enemies, do that. Cutter, and I don't know what that means. Oh, geez, wow. Was that the Overwatch? Did we get him with Overwatch? That's If we did, that was kind of incredible. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, that's turned out better than I would have thought. Well, that's a pretty tough enemy. Let's shoot this guy right here. Yeah. That was a good shot for the weapon she has anyways. You can go down here, take out that turret. Very good, very good. Now we have to make sure we don't get flanked from behind, because or attacked from behind, because I think the enemies might hear us fighting, and then, you know, come to help their buddies out, which would not be helpful for us at all. Here, you get down here, go into over. Well, you can't go into Overwatch right now. Uh oh, rot row. All oh, those turrets are still going at it. Just going to Overwatch. Come down a bit. Heading out. Heading out. Hmm. Just get over here. Yes. Oh, that was a good shot. Haha. Uh -huh. Coming for you! <laughs> I think that turret's coming for somebody. Well, maybe not. Not that efficiently, anyways. Let's just actually, um... Hmm. Actually, why don't you just come down here? There we are. Hmm. Eh. Overwatch. As you wish. As you wish. Closing the gap. Come down here. We're not doing a very good job. Oh, he, that was a terrible idea. I did. I did. That was the worst guy to do that with, too, because it's like he's the one holding the the blood transfusion. Hmm. Heading out. All right. All right, now, can you please do something about this guy? Thank you. Jeez, I'm good at this. <laughs> go, go, go. Ow. Requesting support. Requesting support. Can we hit this from there? Yes, we can. <laughs> good shot. I hit them. I don't know what he was shooting at. I think he got taken out. I'm not sure. Hmm. Take cover. Defend. Take cover. <laughs> ah, jeez. All right, you take it out then. Very good. Out. Ammo out. It'll cost you. Mercenaries here are so mercenary. Jeez. Alrighty. I noticed, I heard someone talking about, what was it? Was it on, what was his name? Splattercat on his channel. If you ever watch that, he has a pretty good channel. Especially if you like to hear what's new in the world of indie games, as he would say. Um, Area whoa, are, are you done? Thank you. Oh, wow. There must be a fair bit of space between this group of enemies and the next ones, even in this open room. Interesting. Yeah, but he was talking about... Maybe I was looking at his review of this game, even. I don't know. But... Or maybe it was a different game. No, it was a different game. It was a different game. It was a game kind of like this, only it had, like, 
uh, like, kind of like a go, go, go. row, um, um, XCOM meets Vermintide type game. I don't remember what it was called. But anyways, kind of, kind of interesting looking game, I suppose. And he was saying how the maker of that game seemed to really dislike the whole the Overwatch leapfrog strategy de ga of gameplay because he really had a, a, a fair number of the enemies were like melee rushers that would rush at you and eat up your character, your your party members um, Overwatches which is pretty interesting and a good idea for a faction that's kind of like you know, Skaven type enemies they, their, their people are pretty expendable to them <laughs> but um but yeah, I guess he was saying that that some people don't like that use you know sort of leapfrogging little by little using Overwatch. I can see why gameplay wise it kind of makes even difficult levels rather somewhat trivial. It slightly trivial trivializes game difficulty. But on the other hand, it's also very realistic. Go, go, go. I mean, you learn how to do this in when you're you're in I, in the army. I imagine you, you learn it in the police too. It's like, this is how you move, covering each other. And, you know, cover me as I move. Got you covered. You know, <laughs> there's Overwatch drills. You, you practice that in basic training, even. Jeez. Because it makes sense, and it works. But, you know, so it's interesting to find clever and ways to counter that that makes sense in world. Kind of like what I was saying with the, those rat people who, you know, they have plenty of melee fodder. They just send in to eat up the, the Overwatches. But anyway, so yeah, let's. So man, the enemies are surely spread out quite a bit. Let's look at let's look at this. We've cleared half the no about a two fifths of the facility, one two three, or three sevenths of it, if you like. But anyways, I gotta take care of something right quick, so I need to actually pause my recording. All right, so let's see. You need to be careful. Not get overconfident. As you, As you wish. Uh oh, enemies there's more enemies. Alrighty. Oh geez. Torture. Hmm. Huh. Who are you? Okay. You could take the shot. I think maybe it'd be better to get more people into position. Why don't you just go into Overwatch? In position. In position. Your move, dumb smurf. <laughs> Dumb Smurf. I don't think that's what it said. I know, I know, but you know, I just don't feel like saying anything more. On your guard. On your guard. You just come down here. All right. Chill. 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 Ready for the kill. Oh, there's some turrets too. So we could probably get these turrets to turn against these enemies. Although, are there turret locations here? Eh, no, it doesn't look like it. Get him. Good shot, dude. Oh, it didn't activate the turrets. Interesting. Oh, it did. It did. Okay, good. That's actually not bad. <laughs> I just want him to sort of hold back since he's the guy with the... the patching up kit. Shoot him. Good shot. Good shot. Just chill. Oh, wow. Oh, there's another one. Okay, so there's... Oh, no, we knew he was there. There's at least two enemies. And he's down. One of the enemies is down. Very good. Oh, it's attacking another enemy. Couple enemies. Maybe. Maybe. I think I'm going to shoot at it anyways, because it can destroy cover. It's one of those, uh... Like... Gatling cannon, mini guns, whatever you want to call them. Very good, very good. Now, what do we have left here? This one down here, and another gun up there. All right. Let's just stay on your guard. Oh, so much for that get turret. All right, all right. Anybody else that we can see? Not yet. You come up here. Take cover. Eh. Just 
come up here, take cover. You come up here, take cover. Ooh, good shot. Oh man, he's flanking. We're under attack. Yeah, no kidding. Oi. Here are you. Over six. Oh, over six. Overwatch. Hmm. Overwatch. Let's see. Her. What is this guy's weapon? I don't even know. I'll move him down, her down here. Put her into Overwatch. He can come around. And hi! Oh, dang, bust it. Aha! Good job. Got him. He got totally... Great work. All right. Whew, man, so far so good. Hmm. You come up here. You come forward again. You come forward. All right, and then you can come right here and get him. Excellent. Oh man, that was great. That went really well for crying out loud. Jeez. All right, well, hmm. Let's go forward again. Oh, don't go so far. Okay, um. Oh man, he really went too far. You see that? He went way the heck down there to the right. Like an idiot. All right. You come right here. Overwatch, safe. Overwatch. All right, now we're all together again. All right, cool. Let's actually go up here. Go, go, go. See what's up around this bend up in this corner. Now there's a, a loot closet, you know, a, a a storage container. Can we do anything else besides no? No, okay. Let's just attack. <laughs> All right, good job, good job. That was pretty good. Go over here and Overwatch. Get right here, and no, no, you can. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Ah, oh well, who cares? <laughs> I hit the wrong button. Or I hit the button too many times. Thank goodness for you. Man, question totally what took him out. That was great. That person's in trouble. Very good. Wow. That went really well. <laughs> I almost screwed up, but I got out of it somehow. All right, so... Just wanted to say I lost the last part of the footage for this episode. Right pretty much after the where the footage cuts off for that mission there to retrieve the Code Scrambler, I finally encountered the boss of this area, a very powerful unit, the Raider unit. I can't remember what it's called. It's the, anyways, a very dangerous character and a uh, horde of other raiders and they um they succeeded finally in killing my my party my party was not quite capable of handling them and so I, I i lost all my characters and lost the mission so being that the nature of this this game we have to do this these set of missions over again on the plus side being that it's more of a rogue light rather than a rogue like we keep the item progression so all the the gear we've ac accumulated where our new characters are going to have that so there is that and we do have some people we've saved so that's that's good oh what a what a pain the other unfortunate thing is i lost the footage for the last part 
And really, with my ignominious death, <laughs> that's all that we missed, unfortunately. So, anyways, uh, I'll be starting another playthrough. Hopefully, doing some a little bit better. We'll see. I don't know. We'll see if I, I make it through this. I may get wiped out again and lose all my characters and not have anybody to play with. I have no, I have no idea. Anyways, it's the, the nature of this beast. It's funny. I, I didn't have as much trouble with my party that I'm playing on my own time, but this one, man, I just got my butt kicked. <laughs> maybe it was my party composition wasn't very good, or maybe maybe it was something else. Who, who can say? So, all right. Well, thank you for joining me for this episode of my Let's Play of Depth of Extinction here on my channel, Ida Wisdom. My, I've already recorded the next episode, and so I will post that immediately as well. I hope we do better, so take care, y'all. What a pain. <laughs>